Hello, everyone, and welcome to episode number 41 of Pardon the Dashboard. My name is Sergeant Merrill. With me today, I have fellow veteran and co-host IXI Sweat, also known as Ben. What's going on, everybody? And I have reoccurring guests in the works media, also known as Jake. What's up? And I have a guy who has not been on for a while, the end. Zero, hey. zero, four, five, <laughs> zero, oh, Jesus zero. Christ. That I just want to make sure I get your name right. I don't know. I'm a stickler for the details. He's that he's ex-cow guy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's x second oh account. Oh, my God. You have no idea how many times I hear that. If you're new to part of the dashboard, which you should not be, because I think we're going back to my channel for this episode. We're going to see how it does on my channel. Um, this is, It's an ongoing conversation that's fueled not only by gaming topics uh, and what's going on with the gaming world, but also by the conversation that you put into the comment section. If you have just something really interesting to say or an opinion on something, throw it in there because we use comments as our topics as well. But let's move into our first topic here, which I don't know what to say about it. Hutch leaves Machinima. Well, yep. it's, it's groundbreaking. For, this let's, is, let's, this is, let's establish who Hutch is. Maybe, maybe someone is coming in out of nowhere, has no idea who Hutch is. Who is Hutch? That person does not deserve to live. <laughs> he's, he's, one of the, uh, he's one of the original commentators. He's one of the guys who has been around since the beginning of yes. this whole if commentating you, scene. If you enjoy game commentary, you know, people talking over gameplay, which is a relatively new thing, this was one of the innovators. One montages. Of the, yeah, montages. Yeah, yeah. His, his old montages, man. Quick scoping and sniping. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he was, a, he was an optic member as well. Yeah, Nostalgia man. flowing in. I'm telling just you, him yeah. saying he's leaving just seems like it's like every I don't know it just seems like it he's turning it's like it's over I don't know it's weird because you look at it it's like well if he doesn't want to be in this anymore it's yeah why or you know it's just like I don't understand how we could continue on I I mean I know that sounds really retarded but well it's like it, it's he, like he was it's living like the way uh, it, that most of us aspire to it's kind yeah. of the way it's kind of the way the the Nazis felt in the bunker once Hitler committed suicide. That Bam. feels a little drastic and out of context. But <laughs> I don't know if that was the best example to use. I really don't. <laughs> I don't feel like Nazis. Pass me the sign I cast. Like Nazis, I'm not saying, like Nazis <laughs> just say that it's like the same feeling. If our leader is dead, then what the hell's the point? I'm gonna. Did you guys hear why he wanted to leave? No. Uh, no. Modern Warfare Three sucks so bad that Hutch quit. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Modern Warfare 3 sucks so bad that Hutch quit Plus, everything. they would have fixed Call of Duty Source. So nah, that just says sore. Uh, they would have fixed Call of Duty 4, so he quit. <laughs> I don't blame him. It's just, it's just one of those things that it feels a little surreal. It feels like, like the community is going to change a little bit. Because like I said, that, that was one of the people that everyone who gets into this aspires to. Uh, you know, he started out doing videos at, at his house and then ended up uh, working at a corporate office for Machinima in L.A. and just, you know, living the dream. I remember when he hit 15,000 subscribers. Dude, I remember those days. When, when the only problem in the community was people using ACOG scopes on their sniper rifle and using steady aim. That yeah, was the back, only problem. Like a, back then you could use copyrighted music even. Yeah, yeah, back those then the, copyrighted the music. Those were, just were like, the good old days. <laughs> So, I guess the question I want to ask here, the question I want people to answer, and maybe even us to answer real quick before we move on to our next topic, is how do you think this is going to change uh, what the community is? I, I don't know. To be honest, I, I, I don't know. I don't know where the community will go from here. Who will be the voice of reason? Yeah. True. It, it kind of feels like... If you don't follow him on Twitter, follow him. It, it, it feels like... Wow, though. The way the way everybody's talking, it, it feels like he died. It does feel like he died, didn't it? <laughs> Good, goodbye, Hutch. Trending like you don't say goodbye to somebody who didn't. Rest in peace. See you later. Hutch, I met you at the hotel lobby at the W, and it was an honor, sir. All right, that, that's creepy. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's move into our next topic here. Our boy Wicked Shrapnel has this to say in our last episode of Part of the Dashboard. He said, I enjoyed playing Portal 2 more than I enjoyed playing the new Call of Duty. I played the whole campaign through three times, but you can only do the same thing over and over so many times before it gets old. The appeal of Call of Duty for me is that it is like playing a sport, and people have been playing the same sports for many years with little innovation. Someone needs to invent a new sport, not just a new game, if they're going to be Call of Duty. Hmm. That's actually That's pretty that, insightful. That, that, Ah, coming yeah. from Wicked Shrapnel, I know. 
That's I'm, that's, I'm that's good. <laughs> just leave a comment that said this show fucking sucks because that could really ruin us. <laughs> that's a, that's actually a good analogy comparing Call of Duty scene to uh, yeah. to sports. Well, because it is true. Ever since uh, Call of Duty started, little innovation to the core game itself has been made, and there's always issues in every Call of Duty, and that gets tiring after a while. But maybe it's because uh, people are thinking of it as a new game each time, and it isn't a new game. It's an update. It's a new season. Right. It, it's the new patch. It's yeah, a I new season, say, new players. Like... And sometimes, uh, you know, one season of a sport sucks ass. Yeah. It's, like, it's like new DLC. <laughs> Modern Warfare 3 is Modern Warfare 2 DLC. You know? Yeah. So, I mean... God, you know, what does that make Homefront? Does that make hold, it hold on, hold XFL on, hold on. We're forgetting NFL? one thing. We're forgetting one thing that was actually very innovative and, and kind of risky to Call of Duty. Nazi zombies. That, that's that's that the most. That, no, it wasn't. Yeah, it was innovative to Call of Duty. I mean, nobody zombies, thought that they were zombies. Bring is zombies is never a bad idea. Well, <laughs> yeah, all right, yeah, that's true. But you never know. Maybe some people just wouldn't like it with the Call of Duty feeling. I think it was kind of a bold move, if you think about it, because they're coming off the tail feather, or like the, you know, the momentum of COD 4. Nobody wanted to play World at War. I played yeah. World at War. Like, I was one of the first people on, on, on that ship. You know, I was like, this game is awesome. But for the most part, as soon as World at War came out, everyone was like, this sucks, and they went back to COD 4. I, I so like COD 4 that. had like a three-year life. In fact, I would say it's still going. Yeah, the life, well, n not too much now because well, of the hacking. On PC, that's the only thing people play. If you're like a COD PC player, you're playing Pro Mod right now, or you're doing it wrong. So, <laughs> yeah. so I mean, who plays Modern Warfare Three on the PC? I also I don't game? like the way uh, I don't like the way Activision kind of just craps on PC players with the current uh, Call of Duty games like Modern Warfare Three. They, they really no mods have. for no, no mods. dedicated servers that yeah, are they, they just like yeah, you guys don't make us enough money, so. Go fuck yourselves. That's what they basically <laughs> said to PC players. And that's just, I think that's mean, you know? That you should be, you should be generous to, to any platform, not just the one that makes you the most money. So I, um, I really you, like how he compared it to sports, because yeah. that's how I compare it. Like, that's how people ask me, how can I play the same game so long, so much, over and over and over again? Yeah, how can you play, watch the same sports? Because it is. It's like playing football or basketball. The game's not changing, but the people you're playing against change. You know what I hate? You know what See, I hate? People who always say, oh, how come you take video games too seriously? Then when you walk into the living room, they're screaming at the TV because their freaking sports team is losing. And they're not even playing the damn sport. It's like, how can you take that so seriously? Ah, uh -huh, touche. They're, they're a subscriber fanboy. <laughs> True. Damn. So, so, was... so here's a question that, that, that I think we should pose here. Um, do you think that some of these companies that are looking to get in on this, this Call of Duty type game type, if they should just realize that this is, this is the NFL, you know, this is the NBA. Let's not try and compete with that. Maybe we should make our own sport. Maybe we should make our own Sorry. genre of gaming. Or football, excuse me. And I think too many people are seeing the money that, that's going. We talked about this last week. Seeing, yeah. they, they see too much money being made here not to try and jump in on it. So it's like the XFL to the NFL did horrible. <laughs> what, home front? <laughs> you, uh, yeah. you don't no, remember no. the XFL? You remember oh, the XFL? Oh, yeah, that, definitely. That was, the, that, that was ex exactly the problem that's going on here. It's trying to create just the same sport. Yeah, kind of, and, and it already has an audience. There's no reason. There, yeah. There's nobody wants to do that. They already have their NFL. They're addicted to their team. You know, whatever. However, y'all want to go about the analogy. Maybe they just need to create entirely new sport to generate that money that they're looking for. What is so, Battlefield Three then? Uh, <sighs> Battle. You know what Battlefield Three is? Is it like the AFC and the other and the um and COD Four or COD, uh, COD is the NFC or what? Vice versa? AFC NFC. No, 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 no. Okay, I can't. I can't think of the name of my head. It's not football. It's uh, rugby. Rugby. Battlefield mm -hmm. Three is the rugby. It's like trying to unite I, two I things. I would together. say soccer. Don't no. I didn't. No. Say yeah. no. Well, no, it, no, no. Soccer than rugby. No. No. Swear. Soccer's Shut the up. most popular sport. In the we're world. going too far down the rabbit hole. Okay. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's, let's Soccer's the most popular sport in the world. Let's Carol move got it next. right. Swear. Okay. Moving into our next topic here. Big Mike Ho. <laughs> on our last episode of Part of the Dashboard. <laughs> I think there should be a comma there. Yeah. Big Mike Ho. Big Mike Ho. Okay. Big Mike, comma, Ho has yeah. this to say. He says, why does no one ever give Ghost Recon its due? Can't wait for the new one. I bet it's innovative. 
And this isn't like the most insightful comment in the world, but it did bring up the question, like, why don't people give Ghost Recon enough credit? Because um, they don't understand. I think it's probably because it's a third-person shooter. And people yeah. look at that as like, uh, oh, man, oh, don't want that. Gears of War. Well. Mm. Yeah, true. Mm-hmm. Boy, I mean, I, quick. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I picked this comment because I, I am a huge fan of Ghost Recon. And I think that um, for all this hype going into this year about all the new stuff, this seems to get brushed under the rug because, I mean, the beta is coming out next week. And I just went out and bought Splinter Cell Conviction so I could play the beta. And there's going to be 20 million different ways you can customize your weapons in this game. 20 million. That's wait, wait, uh, in what game? In Ghost Recon, Future Sir, Soldier. Tw- 20 million? 20 million remember, different... What was the, um... What was the, like, um... Ceremony or whatever where the guy stood up there with the connect, And he was, like, just... Oh, he, he spread his, his, his hands out and, like, the, the, the gun just, like, exploded into the different yeah, pieces. Yeah, the into pieces and then he picked, like, the receiver and then he picked the barrel and then he picked the attachment and then he picked the stock and then he picked yeah. the caliber and, like... Don't you think that's going to be too much for the average user, though? No. I mean, mm-hmm. that's all they want is customization. I mean, look at Black Ops and the, the emblem creation. The oh. people love that stuff. Yeah, they love drawing penises. So imagine... <laughs> yeah, I saw some really innovative... <laughs> Not gonna oh, lie. my God. Yeah, innovative sometimes in an amazing way and sometimes just in a... How the oh, hell did you even think about that? You have a channel idea right there. You can make a whole channel of, like, like people made Black Ops and Emblem channels. Oh, right. em- yeah, just whole great. channels out of it. That's yeah. what Steve... Steve I'm, now, now I'm having flashbacks of all the things I saw on the Black Ops emblems, and I'm actually having a good laugh over here. Right now, I I'm remember making... a particular Smurf on it would, it would come, you'd get killed by him, it would come up, and you're like, is that what... Oh, yeah, yep, that's a dick. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody did the horse humping a, a the horse. Or something. <laughs> I will say this though about innovation is Modern Warfare Three and their emblems and titles. That was some of the most innovation, innovative things I've ever seen in Call of Duty. It took a step forward from Black Ops. That's for sure. Really? No, Are I'm you? being sarcastic. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, all it was was the exact same titles from Modern Warfare 2, and it's just like... I want to have to put a blinking sarcasm over, <laughs> over that. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. What, what titles? All of our meters were broken on that one. <laughs> all right. That's, y'all want to move into our next, next topic here? So Wait, should, we, should we pose a question for, for people on Ghost Recon? Why, why you no like Ghost Recon? Well, I have, I have an interesting segue that revolves around this Ghost Recon thing that we were kind of talking about before the show was how it's actually the delaying... Ghost Recon for PC a month hmm. for the Xbox One. Which Ubisoft has been, or Ubisoft has actually said that they are they don't care about PC games, and we've talked about this in a past episode, I think, about how they basically said, you know, PC games doesn't make money. We're not going to release a game for it because there's no point. I don't understand. Like, I I download your game, and you don't even need to make the CD for me. You don't even need to ship it to the different warehouses and. Whatever, just put it on Steam or Origin and be done with it. Yeah, well, sometimes, you know, it's the publisher. They don't see a... Uh, I, yeah, a I revenue. understand. Yeah, it's a, you have to... You need a whole new team of developers. I understand. But to say that it doesn't make money on PC? I mean... And also, PC is much, much easier to pirate stuff. Yeah, that's why they delay. It's because they claim that if they don't do that, then they'll all be pirated. And it's weird seeing that most people see PC gaming as just heads above consoles. And people, like Sweat was saying how there was an article how PC gaming, this is just the beginning of basically the end of consoles. Consoles, yeah, because, you know, all this information that's coming out from from consoles... How much more forward can a console go before it becomes a PC? Yeah. What if a console is just, like, comes out and you're able to upgrade it? Well, like the PS4 is going to have a 7000 series... ATI graphics card. Which is which ridiculous. Is top, that's top of the line right now. If they have that in there... That's like an $800 graphics card. Well, there's no CD drive in it, apparently. It's going to be locked to that unit when you mm. download content. Does anybody else feel scared about gaming? Because it seems... It's, it's, it feels like... like <laughs> it's going to be an expensive habit. The, yeah, it's, it's like nice. when, when people start talking about the end of the world. This is how it feels. <laughs> it's like everything's changing, so you just get nervous as to what's going to happen with, with gaming. Well, Ivan, perhaps this is the end. 
Zero zero four five zero zero. I see what you did there. I uh, see what you did there. Let's move into our next topic, then. We spent way too long on this. Uh, next topic, we want to talk about the Battlefield 3 patch. Now, no one really put a comment on this, but this is just something that needs to be talked about. How do you all feel about the patch so far? I'm feeling pretty suppressed about it. Pretty, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I'm feeling pretty blurry and inaccurate about it. And Has it been that bad, though? I feel it like really, my, gun, my gun just forgets how to work when bullets are flying. I, I feel like I'm, I'm firing blanks. Like, it's just like, they just give that you... That might be a personal problem, Ivan. I don't know if you want to discuss that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just You're a little young stuff. for that. You're a little young for that, man. <laughs> I just felt like they go there. You're a goddamn bastard. But seriously, it's like, they just raise suppression. Do you think they should put, like, an indicator on the possibility of where your bullets are going instead of making you believe and giving you false hope that your bullets are actually going where, you, where your reticle is. I think, I think they should just put it back to the way it was with suppression. It was fine. Yeah. No, I, I like the idea of increased suppression. I don't think I like it to the extent that it is now. I think they you, need to, you know what they need to do? They need to put it somewhere right in between. What it used to be, what it is now, just put it a little bit in between. I, I fucking more on the love way. suppression. It, do I think it works exactly the way it is right now? No, but the idea of suppression, that's a way forward. The problem is they raised they raised the the radius around the player at which uh, bullets are effective Correct. as. So what I'm saying is they should have a suppression reticle. And another thing that that's that's wrong is that it takes too long for your character to recover from being suppressed. So let's say you're in a gunfight, Ten you're suppressed. You, yeah, you're suppressed. He stops suppressing you. By the time you're unsuppressed, he's already suppressing you again. So it's like you're yeah, always yeah. down. So it, well, I think they were trying to. Why don't you just try to, to They were trying to soup up LMGs, I think, because they well, Let's not lie to ourselves here. LMGs were pretty outclassed. By That's every, very true. Yeah. Every, every LMGs felt broken. But in in the process, they also tried to rebalance the LMGs because they're like, well, if we do this, you know, they're going to be too powerful. So and let's make them, make them the suppression element. Even more. So now we have these LMGs that, you know, you can do all the suppression, but if the LMG itself is getting suppressed, all it is is bullets flying by, nothing's happening. Mm -hmm. And the, the problem I have with it isn't that, you know, you, you become inaccurate. It's because you, you could be literally looking at someone 15 feet away with your red dot right on his, his stomach, and your bullets mm -hmm. aren't going there. That just that, that's what's physics. frustrating. That's they should have made it where, like, your gun kicks more or something. Like, you just you we'll just make focus. it make the screen more blurry. Yeah, you don't make it so that your suddenly your gun doesn't operate like a gun anymore. It's operating like yeah. How can a bullet come out of the barrel of a gun and go three meters to the left of where that barrel is pointed? It, that that's absolutely true. I think that's what frustrates people more than anything about Battlefield. Your bullets don't always go where uh, your your sights are aimed. And, yeah, uh, let, let's just clarify that they we're, need talking to change about, that. we're talking like, about close distance here because people are just going to be like, well, if you're, if you're 300 meters away, then of course the bullet's going to drop. We're, we're, yeah, talking, we're, talking, yeah, we're talking fast Freddy within 50 meters. Yeah, yeah, you, you, your round should not be at the other side of the map if you're on one side of the map and the guy's right in front of you. That, that's what we're talking about. Close quarters, not long range. They engagements. should make it more difficult to aim, not... You know, the yeah. same to aim, and that it might or might not. You know what it reminds me of is a Civil War battle, where it's like, <laughs> you walk up to the front lines, you say, fire, <laughs> dude, you, might get a, you, you, know, you might hit somebody. They should, like, they should totally make a DLC. <laughs> they should totally make a DLC like that. Like, just have it so that everybody just stands in the line and fires at each it's other. It's like, you know, these people, you're both oh, shooting that's each other, and it's just whoever gets lucky, and the bullet just happens to hit, you know? Imagine it's like, a game chat with that. Like, just everybody standing in a line, one okay, line. Okay, right. okay. What about, all right, because this is getting ridiculous. What about the pay unlock? That, that's, I think that's they did entirely too soon. That's too soon. Way too soon. Way that too Company soon. 2 took, what, six to eight months before they came out with that? Yeah. Um, they did that. They came out in the spring of Mo after Modern Warfare 2, right? So I, just, I just think it's one of those things that's great for you to put there later, you know, but, but in the I beginning, see, I still haven't unlocked everything. They, they can't say that it's, it's to maintain it. They've announced, like, three new pieces of DLC. They just announced this patch, I mean, that everybody, that everybody was already buzzing for. I mean, it, they weren't in in danger of, of losing people to COD, that's for sure. I mean, like, I, I just think that they had, not yet anyway, maybe in November, 
but they had time, man. I don't know, man. I heard there's some new, really cool DLC coming out in April for Call of Duty. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah, I heard it's it sarcasm, all sarcasm, brand new sarcasm, now. Sarcasm, sarcasm, sarcasm. People are coming up with the uh, with the argument that's saying, well, if if the noob is the buying argument? all the weapons, then isn't he still going to be a noob with all those new weapons? Yeah, but, I mean, you get a sense of achievement that is is cheapened when somebody else gets it with money. And that's that maybe that they, that is just all the way back. Maybe they don't get that sense of achievement. So they just don't see the point in waiting to unlock. But since you get that sense of achievement, you see the point in trying to unlock it rather than buy it. You know what they should Do you I, really blame EA though? I mean it's like okay. No, we I don't blame them because this. it's effective. You can't blame them for doing something that's effective. You can complain about it all day, but people are buying this. Yeah. yeah. Hell, I gotta buy it because we were talking about this. I switched to PC. I've got hundreds of hours on Xbox, and I feel like a hypocrite for buying it because it it really frustrates me. You're that not it, a hypocrite, man. Just, you you it, earned it on but Xbox. It frustrates me that it's even available. It frustrates me that it's even an option because I don't think it should be. I think it again, it's way too early. But then again, on the same note, here I am about to go buy the damn thing because I'm a level two on PC, <laughs> just getting ass raped. Honestly, honestly, I really, your... <laughs> I really just, I don't, I don't care because uh, you're gonna come across those weapons anyways, and if it's a, if it's a new guy buying it, then That's he's true. gonna suck anyways. So it, uh, it yeah. really doesn't matter as long as you're, you're good with your kit. You're gonna, you're gonna outclass that idiot. Honestly, I enjoy unlocking it because it gives me a little bit of time with each weapon before I move on to the next. Honestly. Yeah, and they, all right, that's you. Some people, they don't like unlocking, or they don't have the time to do it, so they just buy it. Yeah, all right, all right. So, there you go. Do you think this was a good move on uh, on DICE's account? And uh, do you think it was too early? Or how how can they do this differently, or should they do this any differently than what they did? If you want your comment picked, you're not going to say they did it. If this was a good move. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm going to pick comment if you say this is right. <laughs> all right, let's move on to our, to our last topic here. Uh, again, this this is recent. Nobody really put it as a comment in the last part of the dashboard, but we just felt it was something that we needed to talk about. 402, which was the community development manager for Modern Warfare 3. Is that, yeah, right? you, is that you the guys remember title? that? Yeah, you remember that guy who was like, no last stand. <laughs> Fuck you, last stand. Yeah, that guy. That was a really good that? impersonation, though. That was good, Ivan. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Was... I, were, I was working on that, you know. I, I find it funny how they removed the javelin let, glitch from Modern Warfare 2. Let me finish leading this in because <laughs> I feel like we need some context. The guy yes. left, okay? The guy left. He, he retired from, from the position. And it was, in a, it was in a way that felt a little bit too happy. It was like, yeah. oh, I'm just, you know, I wanted to go take a walk. For I, a I, long told, go top. I told you already, it's because Activision did not want to give that Call of Duty 4 or whatever Call of Duty, like from the previous games, he wanted to release maps for free. And his theory was, well, they already purchased it. They shouldn't have to purchase it again. Activision came out and said, no, we want more money. And then he was just like, you know what? Fuck you guys. And then left. <laughs> and that's how, <laughs> I believe that's how it played Fuck out. Fuck you. Fuck you. You're <laughs> cool. I wouldn't be surprised <laughs> if, uh, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, he intentionally put Dead Man's Hand in there just to make this game horrible. It's like, because think about how much hatred he got from Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, and it's And like, at this point, he's like, he's just like, hey, I'm just here for the paycheck. It's like, I don't care what happens to Activision. I mean, it's almost like he just stayed to be that, like, last troll. I don't know. There's sure. something about him the whole past year that just seemed mm -hmm. weird. It was like he wasn't really there. But he was there. Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. He seemed like he knew what he was like, he knew the that. point he was trying to make when he was trolling me. But he was doing a shitty job of trolling me. So I don't understand. Like, <laughs> he remember was, that? When he was, he like, was trying to sound so professional. <laughs> coming back. And he was probably one of the Honestly, though, Ben, you scared me the way you were tweeting at him. I would have been like, I'm sorry. We're trying our best here. <laughs> just, just wait for the new maps. Wait for the new maps. <laughs> you don't gauge the audience like that on a public forum, and he did it anyway. People who say we're like we're losing, we're losing a good guy or whatever because he wants what they do, he's a piece of shit. I don't care what anybody says. Oh. Oh. Is he, his, you think he's a piece of shit because he didn't give your money back no, from no. behind the game. Shit, because he lies and manipulates people. He's a piece of shit human being. That's how I feel about it. You can oh. out if you want to. Okay. I don't think anybody on I feel Whoa, as if sweat. we, we have a... fully talked about this topic. All right. <clears throat> 402, good luck wherever you go, sir. 
He's gonna go. You got anything else you all want to put out before we end this? No, man. I feel good. I know. Yeah, you got some. He just Sweat just released all his frustration live on uh, PTY. So there you have. Have you guys ever seen the schools and shooting blanks? Have you ever seen the JPEG that says "Screw you, last stand," and then on the bottom it says "Final stand, you're all right." (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or screw you, Javelin grit, Glitch. We're just going to put you back in Modern Warfare 3 as Dead Man's Hand. I really don't get that. $40,000 a patch. They patched Javelin Glitch in Modern Warfare 2. They put it right back in Modern Warfare 3 as Dead Man's Hand. Yep. Whose idea was that? I wonder if Robert Bullion was embarrassed that he destroyed competitive cops. I feel like we're moving backward. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I think it's, it's good to talk about this, man. People want longer episodes anyways. This is a longer episode. It is. It is. It is? And, and we're, we're ending it. We're ending it. What's our question posed for 402? There is no question. It okay. happened. Would you hard. hire 402 to work for your company? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's the question. If I wanted to sell salt to a slug, I'll hire him. Shit, he'll do a good job. <laughs> okay. All right. All right, guys. This is the end of uh, episode number... 4241. 4041. This is episode 41. <laughs> okay. So uh, if y'all have anything y'all want us to talk about in the next episode, part in the dashboard, make sure you put it in as a comment. Be constructive. Be intelligent. Uh, uh, yeah, we get some stupid comments, and they're probably not going to be picked. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's it. So we got this is our Merrill with episode number 41 out here. Peace. I'm a stealth clown. <laughs> what? I don't realize I didn't realize how bad I was raging on that. You were yeah, angry.